Philip, it is October. Where is fitness news? You're right. Halloween shirt on, let's go. Oh, hi, my name is Waldo. Philip. And I welcome you to Pale Exercise, the place where fitness and nutrition is made fun, simple, and exciting without pushing products, selling buys, or ranting. We give you facts and research because we believe that is powerful. Fitness News is a monthly series that will cover four fitness and nutrition topics that I believe can shape your life in one way or another. Four topics under five minutes, timer up, let's go. October is most known for Halloween, and with that comes candy. Deliciousness or chemicals. The most popular candy for 2018 is Skittles. Like them or not, what is in the ingredients? Rainbows. 104% rainbows. Also known as sugar, corn syrup, hydrogenated palm oil. That's interesting. Do you remember something that came up years ago called trans fats? Yeah. Trans means three. Or something that is known to lower good cholesterol, increase bad cholesterol, and increase the chances of heart disease. Excuse me, the label says there are zero trans fats. Manufacturing companies which produce foods containing less than 0.05 grams of trans fats per servings are allowed to round that number down to zero. So no doesn't mean no. Nope. So the label might say zero grams of trans fats when there's actually 0.4 grams, but it still says zero. Who eats the serving size anyways? True. Skittles don't say trans fat on the label. Partially hydrogenated palm oil is hidden trans fats. Trans fats can be hidden through a plethora of different names. Like camouflage? Philip, where do you go? Then, <laughs> Look at the other ingredients. Artificial flavors can consist of over 50 flavor chemicals, yet on the food label, they're still labeled as only one ingredient. Artificial flavors. That should be a crime. Food industry pretty much runs the country. Lastly, skipping past all the other food colorings, let's stop at red 40. In other countries, products with red 40 in it will carry warning labels that say can cause hyperactivity in children. Oh, red 40 is a known carcinogen engine made from coal tar and petroleum. Yum. Carcinogen. As in cancer. Coal? As in coal. Petroleum. As in gasoline. Stop that timer. Who says you can just stop? The person who does all the editing. If there is one thing I hate, it is misinformation. Halloween is coming and we put so much emphasis on strangers poisoning children's Halloween candy. Yet this has never happened. Never. Yes, there have been children who have died from poisoned Halloween candy. Yet who did the poisoning? In 1970, a boy died of heroin overdose. He ate some heroin that his uncle had lying around the house. To hide the uncle's neglect, the family put heroin in the boy's Halloween candy to make it appear as if some random person poisoned the boy. In 1974, a boy died from a pixie stick laced with cyanide. Who gave it to him? His father. Who then tried to collect the boy's $20,000 life insurance policy. Then in 1990, a girl died after trick-or-treating from, let me guess, not poison. A heart attack. And in 2001, a girl died from a bacterial infection, which I'm sure did not happen overnight. Stop putting so much emphasis on poison Halloween candy as it's practically poison to begin with. Look at the more important facts. Children are two times more likely to be hit and killed on Halloween than any other day of the year. Preach it. Timer up, let's go. Next. Oh my gosh, I love that restaurant. <laughs> Is that time of year many get flu shots. All year long, 142 influenza centers in Well, what is influenza? Flu is short for influenza. Ew. The centers collect data on the flu virus on what strains are making people sick. They then send their findings to one of the five World Health Organizations. Scientists there look at the data and determine, guess, what strains are likely to make people sick. How do they make it? They inject the virus into chicken eggs and the virus replicates itself and then they pull it out and they call that harvesting. What about egg allergies? Supposedly no need to worry about egg allergies. Do they work? Biased research says between 40 and 60% on years that the shot is well matched to the virus. For me, these stats make little sense. Say someone did get the shot that season, that doesn't mean it was effective or not because they might not have ever come into contact 
with the strain or the virus. And they still get the flu, yet they don't tell anybody that they received the flu, so it's unreported. In 2018, one study showed that the shot was only 36% effective, about one third. Another showed 25% effective, and another one showed 17% effective. Not the best odds in my eyes. And I have four of them. Those are pretty low, like my IQ score. <laughs> Do they prevent deaths? Those who have heart failure, the flu shot showed 50% reduction of death during flu season and 20% reduction for death for the rest of the year. And elderly adults are often encouraged to get the shot. And this is the age range that they are shown to be the least effective. Should you get a flu shot? It's your choice. It is a $1.5 billion industry. Next, Fiona. Our cuts. Onions poisonous. Someone recently told me that if you have a cut onion in the fridge, it sucks in all the bacteria. This chemist knows that nothing is a bacteria magnet. If onions were, it would be used in the medical field for the sick. Foods for bacterial growth are usually high in protein and moisture. Lastly, onions have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects linked to reduce cancer, lower blood sugar, help bone health. Do note, onions can kill pets. Hey, you hungry? It's a big onion. Last topic. Oh, hipsters, yay. Barista. Starbucks recently cut the sugar content in their frappuccinos from 67 grams to 49 grams. Almost a 25% reduction. Yay. Eh, it's better considering the recommended daily amount of sugar intake is 25 to 38 grams. The biggest issue is that's just for one item. It's not even food. Duncan leads the excessive sugar list with 145 grams for 14 ounces. This is what that looks like. Four grams of sugar equals one teaspoon. 145 grams divided by four grams equals 36.25 teaspoons or 2.5 teaspoons per ounce. 36 and a half scoops of sugar. If you want to lose weight, cutting out sugar will really help you. Also, if you feel fatigued, there's a good chance it's linked to your high sugar intake. Great movie on cutting out sugar is called That Sugar Movie. Oh, and we're done. Oh. <laughs> Hey, I made the cut last month. Random October facts. October is not the eighth month of the year, even though it has the Latin word octo, which means eight. It used to be the eighth month and it was named after Octavius, the Roman emperor. It's crazy what you can do when you have a lot of money or you kill a bunch of people. October is known for Halloween and the Jewish holiday Yom Kippur. The traditional colors of Halloween are black and orange. Black representing death, orange representing the fall harvest. Oh, it's that time of video. It's Guess the Costume Contest. Yay! A snapping turtle. Seriously? <laughs> so rugby. Operation Christmas Child Packer. Operation Christmas Child is next month. Pack your boxes. I have a package for you. A zookeeper. Ah, Justin Bieber. All things, how do you guess? My turn. And I'm the fitness at Fairy. Yeah, we're done. Hey folks, we hope you learned something new and had some fun too. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Ladies, I'm married now. Baby, 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 no.